Get them balls to the wall, man! All right, we are here. We are ready for takeoff. And your balls, your balls, not your balls, not the listeners here, their balls, those out there that would tell us what to do, their balls to the wall. Yes, indeed. And we are taking off right now in our revolutionary war jet fighter. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. It is Friday night, July 5th, 2019. And I am Grimnir. Moose Girl is out uh, at a hippie festival. Hippie thing. I, I don't know what you want to call it. For the weekend of gathering. A gathering, I guess. So it's me and it's you. And uh, yeah. So uh, we're going to have a good old time right here tonight. I hope, anyway. I think we will. We generally do. Right here on the Freaker's Ball. But this is Balls to the Wall. So you get me. So hopefully you're all doing good out of there this evening. And uh, let me say hi and howdy to the various folks that may be out there in various places. I see Gary Long checking in. Hey, Gary, uh, we got Blackbird9 over there on the tweeter as well. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know, a bunch of listeners over there listening on the audios feed. Howdy, I see, I see, I see Chloe over there. Hey, I see, I see Vinny on the audio feed. I see, oh, I don't know who the rest of these folks are. Richmond, somebody in Ontario, I think that might be the Frumpy Man, and uh, I don't know who's in Georgia, but how did you, as a oh, well, and on the Freedoms Network, I don't know who all we got checking in over there, I think we got Bob Renner, maybe Estrella, a couple folks over that, that direction, on the org. it looks like Grammy's still, still up and awake, hey Grammy, so uh, she did a great show earlier this evening, sharing some of that... Uh, uh, Russian literature with us. Uh, very, very interesting stuff. Good stuff, indeed. That's the wall? What's the wall? I don't know. I, I, oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Coulter Wall. Uh, Vinny pulls up a quote here. Uh, it says, So go about your earthly mission. Don't trust no politicians. You look to yours, I will look to mine. Coulter Wall. Okay, I don't know who Coulter Wall is, but uh, yes, indeed, you go about your earthly mission as you need to. Anyway, uh, if you're not over here in uh, the RLM chat, reallibertymedia.com, uh, there's a chat there. You can pop up and jump on in here and talk to all the great folks, fine folks that are here this evening uh, with us. We got uh, we got the barman, who's my bot, Mr. Cowboy Tech, myself, and the Moose Girl is still checked in, although... She's not around. We got DC and Anti and Asmodeus, Mr. Free and Slaved, Gramsci, I B Donzi, uh, the Java Doctor, Mr. Meister, Meister Brow, Woody, uh, Ponder Gander, uh, Ponder Gander, yes. Uh, P uh, I think Ponder Gander will be on tomorrow on the Dark Table with Flash, but don't hold me to it. Uh, we got uh, Miss Kate. Miss Kate and uh, Rob Works, Mr. Rooms, the Vanna White bot, the Vidy bot, not a bot. We got a Weather Dork bot. We got uh, another Woodman there. And we got uh, Beth Z and Phantom and Mr. Beat Doll, the Cyborg Noodle. He's a uh, half half bot, half not. Uh, we got Frump E and Goobers, and Mr. Grummet. JJ, a couple of a couple of kiss there, a couple of kiss characters jumped on in, and we got I don't know if that's like Ace Freely and Gene Simmons, one maybe it's Peter Chris, I don't know, a couple guys from Kiss there. Uh, anyway, we got Mo E and Pone Sauce and Mr. Sock Puppet and Smart Ass. <laughs> so yeah, we got we got all we got all these folks here in the chat. And, and oh, let me look over in the RLM chat. I just see Vinny talking over there, but uh, we got other folks around, yeah. So uh, I don't know where they all are. Our real, our the Red Pill, nah, yeah, not too many talking over there. I don't know. There's a bunch of channels that people talk in. They don't all all talk here, but the bulk the bulk of the uh, viewers and listeners listen in here, uh, right here at realrealmedia.com. And uh, we have, uh, you know, if you come on over and check out the video stream there on the Freakers Ball show page. Yeah, I still use the Freakers Ball show page for 
balls to the wall because eh, eh why duplicate efforts because uh, Moosey's generally here and so anyway same show just me though <laughs> oh man so uh, yesterday was that uh, Independence Day so you're all in 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 the dependence of your nation if you're a USA or an Americano you are totally in the dependence of them um, now a lot of people I noticed and maybe um, maybe I'm wrong on this but I don't think I'm wrong because a lot of people say they're celebrating their freedom on Independence Day which confuses the hell out of me because you really don't have any freedom if everything you want to do, anything you want to do, you got to ask for permission from the government to do. Now, of course, people here in this chat will disagree with me on that because they say, I do what the frick I please. Well, you do, up to a point. But, uh, I, I mean, there, there's <laughs> certain things if you try and do them, like, uh, you know, if you're if you're gonna walk down the road smoking a big fatty, in most places that will cause a problem. You're not free. If you want to get out there on the road and drive around in your vehicle or motor around, I guess I should say, not really drive, drive. We all know that's a commercial thing. And this is you're not doing that. Well, generally, mostly not doing a commercial. Uh, I would imagine some people are. But, uh, yeah, there's there's re requirements to be out there or else you will get harassed and hassled and pulled over and thrown into a cage or shot or whatever. You're not free. You want to go down to the old fishing hole down there and catch yourself a couple of bluegill or whatever. Uh, you know, you're fine until Joe Jackboot from the state shows up and says, Show me your permission slip to be here and catching those fish. And if you don't have that little permission slip, yeah, you're not free. So you're celebrating your freedom. What are you celebrating? They say you're, you could say you're celebrating independence from the UK back in, oh, way back in the 1700s. But again, not so much. Because, if you remember, the War of 1812, that kind of went by the wayside. <laughs> what, what, they, what, what everyone believes was a hard-fought war that the Americans won and gained their independence. Yeah, not so much. And if you don't really know, uh, and, and they always say that, oh, the War of 1812 came to a draw. Did it? But did it? No. Not really. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, so much for that. So that was yesterday. And, uh, yeah, everybody was around this town where I live, blasting off their little fireworks and firecrackers and noise makers and cooking up burgers and yeah, whatever they do to celebrate this freedom, independence that they believe. And so, uh, yeah, there's that. That's great stuff. Um, a little garden update, I guess. I, I'm still working on it. it. The stuff's still growing extremely slow, with a couple exceptions. Um, uh, my, my apple trees, I have four, count them, four, <laughs> trees growing in a pot. And they're doing pretty good. Uh, I, I, I think they're doing good anyway. I don't know how quickly they're supposed to grow. But uh, you know, up to like four inches or something on the apple trees now. Plenty of leaves. They look healthy and strong. Um, I've got one, two tomato plants uh, growing in this one other pot, big wooden pot. Um, and the, it's looking great. The, 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 the one in there is looking great. I still got the other plants I planted in the jiffy pots. And they're sprouted. Everything's sprouted except for the bell peppers. I don't know what the deal with the bell peppers is. But they, apparently they're not going to grow. Um, but they're they're looking good in the jiffy pots. 
um, thinking about maybe moving those into actual soil, uh, getting them out of there. Um, we'll see about those. Um, but, 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 oh, uh, the one, one head of lettuce that sprung up is growing nicely. Uh, it's not formed into a head yet, but, but it's getting more and more leaves on that. Uh, the melons that I have growing, honeydew, cantaloupe, and watermelon. Very slow. They're very slow growing. They all look very healthy, but they don't seem to be growing very fast. I, I don't I know if there's enough time even now for them to grow to a point where they'll actually flower and produce fruit. A anyway, um, I, I think, I think uh, that next year I'll... i, I got to do something with the soil. That, that's my belief. I don't think the soil's good. So, uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's what I got going on, though, at this point in time. Um, there's these other uh, plants growing in there with, with the tomato in that big wooden pot. I don't know what they are. They have um, leaves that are shaped like pot leaves, but they're not. I mean, they're not growing in like uh, as a pot, tree, pot plant would grow. So, I don't know what they are. But they're they're growing in there along with the tomatoes. Maybe that maybe they'll produce some pot tomatoes. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, that was out there, and they're doing that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Um, they I'm getting plenty of water, and I got some uh, fertilizer type stuff that I use. Schultz brand uh, that seems to be I don't know. It's supposed to be good. So we'll we'll see on that. Anyway, so that's it for the garden update. Uh, uh, see what else I got to talk about around here from the local town, township of Moriarty. It's actually a city of Moriarty. Um, nothing interesting. Nothing going on around town, you know, other than the goofball fire worker people. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been that, that kind of thing. It's been warm. Uh, I'll tell you that much, though. We are here in, in the uh, dead of summer. Does that, does that work? I, I know that in winter, in the in the coldest days of winter, they call it the dead of winter. Do they do that in the summer? Is it the dead of summer? Is there another phrase for for midsummer? Is it just midsummer? Um, <laughs> see, that's not information that I have inside my brain. Probably ought to get some of that. All right. <laughs> dog days. Oh, all right. And I don't even have a dog at this point in time. Um, the dog days of summer. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Romes, for that information. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Anything else? Nope. Let's play some music. We're going to play some music here and uh, to get things kicked off. Little bit of blues gonna be coming your way. Little bit of blues, yeah. All right, this is a guy by the name of uh, Luther Allison. Not a video, just just a just a song with a static image. Enjoy. Yep. All right, folks, we are back, and the Moose Girl is with us. Yes. <laughs> anyway, there was an issue, so I had to come back because there was going to be no one here to take care of Jackson. So I did go to the Rainbow Gathering today for a little bit. Yeah. And it was cool. I mean, it was pretty much what I expected. Um, bunch of hippies just camping in the woods. Um, all these different camps set up all around. Um, and then there was, like, around this big meadow, which is where they... Which is where they uh, have their big gathering yesterday. Okay. H hang on a sec, Graham. I gotta mute for a second. All right. right All right. So back from the hippie gathering there, the uh, rainbow gathering. All right, hippie rainbow gathering up there in the hills, Wisconsin hills. But uh, yeah, she had to come back early, so that's cool. Yeah, I was doing some talking ahead of time there, uh, but I forgot to unpause the recording. <laughs> so, uh, whatever you missed, you won't miss because you don't know that you missed it. But you okay. missed some stuff. 
All right. <laughs> yeah, and then now it does turn out that I should have brought the dog, but really, I don't know if I would have been good with my dog there just because so many dogs were there. Like, but they were all well behaved. Like, I didn't see any, you know, but some dogs were like running loose. It's like I could not let my dog run loose there. Uh, it's wait. a great way to socialize him, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's been in the dog park and stuff. Yeah. You know, but, um, yeah, he. He would have liked it, but, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect, and I just, like, I don't think so, you know. Right. So, yeah, it's just, like, I'm just, you know, he would have, it would have been okay, it just would have been different. You know, challenge sure, kind sure, of. Sure, sure, yeah. So, um, but he would have been okay, I mean. Right, yeah. It, he would have barked, it would have been an experience for him, you know. Um, I only went for the day. I didn't camp out or anything. Yeah. Um, just check on and check it out, see what it was all about. I, I went to the trading area where people bring all this stuff to trade and barter with, and um, that was a cool thing. But I forgot all my trade stuff in the car. Wow. So I did bring some toothbrushes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Some toothbrushes that are new in the package. Right. But I, I didn't. That wasn't good enough to use as trade for some of the stuff they, those people had. Like, they had gems, rocks, and stuff like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a rock. And jewelry how, how and much stuff. Is, how and, much? How much is a rock worth? You could probably trade in somebody a toothbrush right. for a rock. But I'm talking like cool <laughs> rocks, like smoky quartz and rose quartz and turquoise jewelry, and some of that stuff's worth. You know, you gotta have a good good item to trade. Yeah, well. But and then everyone's asking for cigarettes all the fucking time. Oh, I bet. And it's like if they see you carrying, if someone sees you carrying a pack of cigarettes, they'll be like, "Oh, do you got an extra cigarette?" Extra, like, yeah. They, it's just like five bucks. So my friend had some loose tobacco. Yeah. And so he was, like, helping people out and giving them tobacco and papers and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is not which is a lot cheaper than give, me giving them my one of my American spirits, you know? Sure, sure. So, yeah. <laughs> but, no, they weren't used. They're not used. They're new in the package. No, I would he's... not bring used toothbrushes to try to <laughs> They were brand new in the he's package. He's joking. He's joking. Extra toothbrushes that I have laying around the house, you know, because every time you go to the guy named Dennis, you get a fucking new toothbrush, you know. He's joking. Oh, and then the guy that, okay, <laughs> and then the guy that used to live in this house was a dentist, so I found this whole treasure trove of all these fucking toothbrushes new in the package, you know. So, I do hand out cigarettes to some people, like at music festivals and stuff, if they're cool. But I only hand out, like, maybe one or two cigarettes, you know, yeah. when I go to, like, a music festival... Or gathering, you know, I bring enough to, like for me. You know right, I mean? you got a bunch of leeches down there. Right, I don't bring extras, so yeah, that's a hot commodity is tobacco cigarettes at the Rainbow Gathering. And, and and they're not allowed. You're not allowed to use cash there, right? No, cash is no good there. Everything's like free. They have these kitchens that people set up where the food is free. Um, they do have a thing called the Magic Hat where supposedly you can donate actual money into that, but that's the only time they take real money. Or, uh, fiat, you know, whatever. <laughs> real but, fake um, money. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, um, it's it's really, it's it, it's pretty much what I expected because I, I know I've been around hippies long enough to know how they are and what they're like and everything. So, that, that part didn't surprise me. I did see a couple girls walking around with no shirts on, literally. You know, nothing on top. Boobies. Yeah. And I'm thinking, right, I saw the Vinny. When I saw the girl, I'm like, no way, even if I did have a way to take a picture of this chick, no way am I walking up to her and asking her if I can take a picture of her so I could post it to Vinny. <laughs> Send it to Vinny. You know, and even, no way am I taking a picture of myself, just of my bare boobs, to send to Vinny. So that's not going to happen, Vinny. Sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I mean... That yeah. would be rude for me to go, excuse me, ma'am, can I take your picture when she has no fucking shirt on, right? No, okay. that's, no that's I'm not. The, I'm not doing that. That's the know? perfect time, yeah. So, yeah she's, she's hanging them out there, then click, click. <laughs> right, well, you, you know, 
it's just kind of rude just to assume, you know what I mean? It's just, you know. Yeah. No, I'm not, no, it was super hot today. But I'm just saying, it was super hot today. So it was appropriate that people would be sure. Hey, hey, they're walking around, they're proud of them, right? Right. I yeah. guess, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I guess I'm more modest than that. You know? Yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm old. You know, I'm not like young. I'm not 18 anymore. Like the girl that was had no shirt, she was like 20 years old. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like I am not 20. <laughs> I am mama status now. I'm like, you know. Yeah. No. But it was cool. There was a lot of cool buses and stuff. Even like the one canine. Like when I, I only saw cops like on the main road. Right. And the one canine cop, I ended up parking by this canine. He was just parked there for a second, you know. Anyway, he he actually flashed the peace sign to somebody. I'm like, really? A cop just flashed the fucking peace sign? I was like, okay. Yeah, well, All right, then, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the area, you know. Maybe you got hippie, like, hippie cops what? up there. Who knows? Yeah, who knows, but... You know, all in all, people were really fucking cool. Everyone says, welcome home. And everyone says, you know, hey, brother, you know, hey, sister. And it's all, you know. It's all groovy. Groovy, man. I mean, but then you get some people that are, like, leeches, and they want shit from you, and they want, you know, when you're on your way out, you know, you're like, oh, you know. Free, free, free. No, hipsy, hip, most hippie. I don't know what most hippies are. But I, I'm I'm a hippie. I consider myself a hippie. I'm a freaking anarcho-capitalist. Yeah. So I, I ain't <laughs> no freaking Mark Basically, Mar I mean, it, you know, people bring all this food and they set up these kitchen. I mean, it's pretty a big deal. When they set up a camp, they s set up a camp, dude. It's got, you know, they set up huge freaking tarps and shit. A moose girl's you know a freaking I mean? hippie. She, she ain't no neo-Marxist. No, I'm not on neo Marxist. Um, um, Donna, she's a she's a hippie, she's hippie as hell. Yeah. She's she's definitely an anarchist. Uh, oh yeah, anarcho capitalist, sure. I should say. Uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta be specific. No, that you know. cop was cool. He was there was no other cops around, and he was like, "Isn't that what it's all about?" And I, I heard him say that. I wasn't talking to him, but I heard him say that to the per hippie he was talking to. Yeah, isn't yeah the peace sign? Yeah, man. The guy's like, oh, isn't that what? And, you know, maybe he was just being a bullshit artist. I don't know, but you know. Right. Uh, you never know. Right. But the camp, the cops weren't bad <laughs> at all. I mean, I didn't see. I only saw them on the main road in vehicles driving. They weren't like walking in groups or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it is a national forest, you are people are allowed to camp there at any time, really. You know. Yeah, and you so can't. Yeah, uh, uh, Rob, Rob yeah. Zork is pointing point out the minarchists, the uh, those those folks that still believe in a little bit of government. <laughs> right. <laughs> because it never stays to be a little bit of government. It no, grows, it doesn't. It no. grows like a fucking mold. You know, uh, you, you can't be a minarchist. Uh, for long, you no, either you no. either you either develop into an, a, a full blown anarchist, or you become just a full blown statist. Because uh, right, uh, I, I mean, you no may really think in between. there is really no in between. Yeah, yeah, because a little bit of government never stays a little bit of government. It grows into right. a huge, huge piece of crap. So there's no in between. You, you either are for the state or you're not. You, you can say, well, I am a little bit. Yeah, no, see, that doesn't oh. work because it, 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 oh. a little bit, then they got you. You there, give them there. an inch, they want a mile. There, you know, there, and there, so there on and so forth. And it doesn't, it doesn't work. It's like fuck that. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as small government. No. Government grows. And people it's, say, it's, well, it's you need disease. to just lessen the lessen it and make it smaller. It's like it, 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 you're talking about this huge thing. And all of a sudden, you're going to, you know... It, well, even if you did, even if you made it as small as absolutely possible, it wouldn't stay that way. It would grow back to what it is now. Right. Yeah, so... Government is... It corrupts. It, it corrupts. Well, it, no, it, yeah, I mean, it just... It, what it, what it, it has to grow or it dies. See, so 30 to 50 years with set rules for small government. Well, what are these supposed rules, well, you know? okay. Um, Which ones are supposed to be set well, rules? Let me, just, let me just say this. 
The Constitution spells out a specific amount of things that government is allowed to do. Right. Everything they do is outside of those bounds. And they yes. keep adding more and more and more. So there was a set of rules that created the United States government. They didn't follow it. Not from day one, they didn't follow it. Right. Immediately, as soon as, as soon as they said, okay, we're a government now, let's start passing laws and bills and, and, and imposing ourselves upon people's lives. So, yeah. Right. Oh, look at that. We got a 7.1 in Southern California. Sweet. Uh-oh. They just had a 6.4 the other day. Yep, yep, yep. So that was, uh -oh. that was roll, a... Roll, roll. That was a pre-shock, I guess. Let's take a look roll, here. Roll, roll. Uh, yeah. 7.1, I mean, and it is oh, it's a, a little further out, I think, than the okay. uh, than the other one away from. Well, uh, they said uh, the other one the other day was not on the, the San Andreas fault, but aren't they all like pretty much connected? Yeah, they all connect up. You um, know, I mean. So this one's once uh, you got some seeking going on out there, it's not a good thing. 7.1 Ridgecrest. Okay, so this is close to the other the other one because uh, they, they're still calling it Ridgecrest, but. Uh, it's right, bigger, I mean, it's but, bigger. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, it, it's not a good place to be out there. I, I just would not live out there. I just, it's just, I wouldn't live in California just as much as I would not live in Florida. I just, it's not for me. I just, the climate is not for me in Florida. And California, it's just too expensive and too many freaking people out there. And it's just, that you get these earthquakes that you can't predict when they're going to happen. You can't predict it. Right. You know, you can be out there, and all of a sudden, you're dead, you know. So, it's, you know, it's bad out there. And it's expensive, and it, there's fires, and it's just, oh, shit, your house is gone. Oh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's what free and slave just Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I see that there also from the LA Times. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, no place is perfect either to live, you know. Every place has its good and its bad, you know. It's right. Just some places have more bad than good, <laughs> you know, it's just like... Right, like, you know, like where I am, there, there's no, you know, major uh, natural disasters out here, but again, there's no water. So. Right. So that <laughs> could be kind of a disaster if you if you have a major drought or something. Because you guys don't get rain very often, do you? No, we usually get like uh, two to three months of rain, and it, it's just about to start coming up in a couple of days here. So how do you water your garden with a garden hose? Yeah, I, we we have oh, okay. we have water, but you could you, okay. you could easily uh, anybody could put a well in. There's a nice aquifer down below. Oh, okay. But but I mean, if it was an extended drought, the aquifer would dry up. Right, yeah. So, uh, Faster than, like, up here, because up here we have a shit ton of water. We have these yeah. lakes, and these rivers, and we have, you know, rain, and we have snow, and... Okay, once upon a time, there was a guy named Vinny, <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted a bedtime story. And I just told him, look out for all those bugs in your bed. <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want the bed bugs, Mike. Bite. <laughs> Yeah, um, so it, it, I like the hippie mindset, though. I like the whole, yeah, you know, cool, man. um, trade and barter, money's no good here, the government fucking money's no fucking good here, you know, let's just be real and fucking, yeah, you know, and they're... be smart and not litter, like, they didn't, they didn't even want people throwing cigarette butts in this campfire. Which I don't. I, there, I didn't. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, a bunch of boobies. <laughs> Funny, free. Like you don't see boobs down in Florida. Come on, dude. Come on, you're not. Yeah, but, but 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 you, don't you know, see, like close next to naked women walking around all the fucking time. Yeah, but but that's, you know, that's a lot of silicone down there. That could be. But, yeah, yeah. At the hippie you know, fest, you shouldn't have much silicone going on. Do guys really care if they're real or not? Yes. I mean, come on. Yes, From the distance, do you really care if they're real or not? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, don't want no, I don't want no fake boobies. Uh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Good night, Vinny. Sleep well. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like, the, I like the, the natural women. And they like, you know. Yeah. I mean, it I'm, was really not, hot today, so, like, there's women walking around, and their boobs are almost hanging out anyway. They had shirts on, but they were, like, 
very skimpy shirts. Like you can see, left nothing to the imagination at all. You know, I'm not a fan of, you know, like makeup, perfume. I didn't wear any makeup today when I was there. That kind it was of too stuff. hot for one thing. Another thing, it's a hippie festival. I'm not gonna fucking put goddamn makeup on. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a hippie thing. I'm not doing that. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. You know. Absolutely. I'm not. I'm myself, and everybody's accepting of everybody there, so it doesn't even fucking matter. You know. Like I met this. Or there's this really cool old time um, Native American man, gentleman, older man there, and he was from Pine Ridge. And where you know, what did he happen? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can, can you hear those booms? Yeah. Yeah. Is that fireworks? Firework idiots out there. Oh crap! <laughs> Actually, they're not too bad here today, tonight. They're not. I heard a couple, but um. Anyway, so gave a friend of my my friend gave him some tobacco and some papers, you know, which is like the best thing you can give to a Native American, by the way. Like one of them. Yeah. You know, it's like an offering. It's it's you know it's a sacred thing to them. But that was really cool meeting that guy. Excellent. You know. And he taught me the Sioux word for uh, thank you, and I taught him the, or we taught him the Ojibwe word for thank you, which is miigwech. Yeah. Sleep well, Vinny. Sleep well, Vinner. Vinner. (laughs) Vinnerd. He's got a lot of nicknames. He certainly does. (laughs) I think he's proud of all those nicknames. He likes them. I have no question about that. All right, let's play some music here. All uh, right, we'll be back. And, uh,. Yeah, glad I could make it to help you out with the show tonight, Grim. Me too. All right, then. Rock hey, on, who, people. Who the, who the heck's that guy on the screen? Who's, who's, who's that <laughs> old... And Moose Girl, giving the what? flip in the bird. Oh, there's Jerry Garcia. I, I recognize that man. Who's that old dude? All right. This is a qu- right. request of yours from January 2017. Ooh, 27... Two years ago. <laughs> okay, Grim. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Okay. That's right, we don't hear no more bullets, Jimmy. Jimmy Hendrix there from, uh, oh, way back in our day. That was a sock puppet request from, also from 2017. Um, <laughs> good stuff, man. Yeah, so cool. Uh, excellent. Anyway, before that, we had that Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it, the extended version there of that video. I love that stuff. Anyway, we kicked it off with a Musco request. Uh, from uh, the Grateful Dead there, Ramble, Ramble on Rose, October 31st, 1980 at Radio City Music Hall. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, 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 we eventually get to these things, even if it's two and a half years later. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, as we were playing that set, or even before that, uh-huh. did we talk about the, the earthquake? Slightly, just slightly. Okay, so 7.1 earthquake rocks California, Southern California, a day after magnitude 6.4 quake struck, as experts warn, tremors could continue for years. Sure. So why is this one different that's going to make the tremors continue for years? I well, don't know. There, there's always tremors. It's Okay. I mean, right. California is shaking all the time. So I, I, yep. I, I think, you know, it's... I mean, yeah. there's, there's a, if you look at the, just the history of quakes in in California or anywhere along the the uh, Pacific, there, uh, you're you're gonna see that there's shake. I mean, like Japan, man. The, Japan is shaking all the freaking time. All the time, right? And, but that's uh, a lot smaller. Is it, is it way smaller than California? Or, oh yeah, and it's oh, an yeah. island too. It, it, yeah, it's an island. It's much smaller and it's highly volcanic and. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, but there's 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 quakes going on constantly, well not constantly, but you know pretty much. Right. Yeah. Every day you're gonna find a, a good number of quakes going on, uh, in in places like that. So. Oh okay. So it's not as unusual as they would like us to believe, or. Uh, I don't uh, know if they they want you to believe that, but you are going to get a lot more things triggered by a larger quake because it moves stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, smaller quakes just don't move as much stuff, but um, but but the land, the, the, the plates are always mo- in motion, you know. So right, when, yeah. When, when you might the, just not be able to feel it. Right. Um, 
or even the ones you do feel are just minor. I, I lived in California, say in San Diego, for 40 years. Um, mm-hmm. And, yeah, we had quakes all the time. Um, and most of them were just really minor, and every now and then you'd get a big one. Um, but when one hits like that from where it hit and uh, where it connects to, um, it can certainly cause uh, other other things to trigger. So Right. <laughs> and as far as California falling into the ocean, yeah, sadly, that's not really going to happen. <laughs> Even if it just broke off and floated away and they right. said, oh, all right, we're our own country now. Great. We get rid of all them, all, all that stuff that they're doing out there in California. Okay, so here comes some more pictures. This is actually bigger than the one the other day, though, a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah, the other one, oh, well, I mean... So, you, you say a little bit, but it's it's quite a bit larger. The other one they said a six point point two or six point four. Six point four. And this is a seven point one. So if if you look at how the the Richter scale works, um, it was incredibly much larger. Like I don't know how much what the right. exact factor is, but it's uh, just because you have a if you have a, a three and a six, it's not double. It's way it's like ten times or something. This one was was 11 miles from Ridgecrest, which is where the other one happened. Yeah, yeah. That's not that far, no, earthquake-wise, is it? I don't think so, no. <laughs> no. Especially when you, when you get one that big. Um, yeah, right. It's, it's, it's not... It's not uh, it's so a, the NBA suspended games. They were having a game going on while the earthquake happened, and so they suspended the game. Yeah, you don't want stuff, the roof falling in on people's heads. Right. The scoreboard was shaking and stuff, so they, like, canceled the game for the night. Yeah. Um, you know, some people, some news anchors were on air when it happened, and they freaked out. They're like, oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, right. I mean, I'm sure they're kind of freaked out since the other one happened the other day. You know? Right. So, I don't know, but I would be worried. Sure, sure. I I don't know. I, I, don't, I would be worried. Okay, well, we'll go to the, the uh, crapo site here. Uh, what do you call it? Wikipedia. Let's see, oh, okay. Let's see if it gives a quick uh, definition here. Richter magnitude, so uh, ML equals log 10. Da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, let's see here. They got uh, 7.0 to 7.9 is a major. 6.0 to 6.9 is strong. Okay, um, so this one's a major one. The first one was strong. This one's major. Yeah, and then it says freq- average frequency of occurrence on a global scale here. Uh, the 6.0 to 6.9 100 to 150 a year, uh, 7.0 to 7.9, 10 to 20 per year, uh, 8.0 or, or or greater, uh, one per year, one in you know if it's greater than nine and it's one per 10 to 50 years, uh, and it says mm-hmm. you know like major damage, blah 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 blah, uh, when you're up that high, but 7.0 causes damage to most buildings. Uh, some partially or completely collapse, and again, it, it depends on a lot of other factors, like the, like the composition of the ground and the composition of the building, and how deep it is or not. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. How deep it is also makes it makes a difference, and uh, what type of wave comes off of it. Is it you know like right, a rolling true. wave? Is it a shock? Is it a, you know? So there's there's various types of of movements that cause certain quakes, uh, and and but again, like if like it was in Florida. Florida, Florida's just mush. Uh, right. Yeah. So down there, if you were in the area where it went off, everything would just collapse, collapse down there. But right. if you were just right. not that that not that far away, uh, you, you'd get like a rolling kind of thing go through, and it wouldn't be that much. Uh, we used yeah. to get it. We used to get the, uh, out in the desert in in California, uh, where we used to go riding out there. And you go out there after a big quake, and all the sand dunes are all different. Everything is rolled. Everything mm-hmm. is. <laughs> it looks like, like it you know, you, like you would think waves frozen in motion, because that that's the way yep. it, it rolled through there. 
Um, and there was a lot of well, quakes. You've, you've experienced earthquakes. You have more knowledge of them. You have, like, first-hand knowledge of them. I do, yeah. You must have felt different kinds of feeling earthquakes then. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so you have first-hand <laughs> knowledge. Like, I have never experienced an earthquake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, oh. they, 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 you know, uh, the ones that, like, wake you up out of bed in the morning. <laughs> those are the shakers, right? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what they are, but those are, those are the weird ones. Because you're not quite awake, you know? You're not, you're going, right. who's, who's shaking my bed here? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fun, uh, funny, um, unless you're caught under, you know, places where stuff's going to fall on your head and kill you. Um, but, right, but yeah. yeah, I, I mean... And, What's the protocol, though? Is the protocol to get out of a building if you're in a building? Is the protocol to well, run it, off it, the street? It, it, it depends. Most most of the time, it's got to be over before you get a chance to be anywhere. Right, you uh, just kind of wait you know, it out wherever you are well, and hope for the it's best? A, it's a few seconds or something. Um, they said the one the other day that lasted longer than normal. Yeah, some do. I've I've been in them that last thirty seconds or something, and um, yeah, I mean you know okay. you're, you're supposed to if you're if you can't get out of the building quick enough, find like a strong beam or whatever to be underneath. Be and, underneath so you can have something that's yeah door doorways they recommend, but um, th those aren't always great either. <laughs> So, uh, but if you're outside and there's nothing that's going to fall on you, stay there. Uh, <laughs> don't, right. don't don't go running towards things. But that the are, drone can split open, right? Uh, <laughs> so wherever you're standing, it could just like yeah, break open yeah, and you're I, in a fucking. No, no. I, I mean it can. I, I, and and I've seen the huge huge crevasses left by quakes out in the desert. Right. Um, but yeah, you're. I mean, you've got to be like right there. Yeah, where the quake's happening for 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 the ground to open up underneath you. That's I mean that's you know Hollywood. That's that's you know. Okay, so that's kind if you, of if you were driving down a road, mm -hmm. and you could feel the road doing its thing, you know, uh, you could yeah. see you could see the waves going through the road. Um, you might want to. I mean, you know, pull over. Maybe is that, but is that where the cracks go to the surface? Right, you don't yeah. know what to do. Or, or you know, speed up, slow down. You, you, you just don't know. <laughs> I would be lost. I'd be like, okay, what the fuck do I do? You know. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, no. Um, I've I've you know definitely uh, seen the the big crevasses out there in the desert where, but again, everything that I've seen, uh, as far as that kind of damage was was out in the desert. Um, you okay. know, when I was a little kid. Well, we had this house, we were on a canyon, and it was like terraces, and we had like a volleyball thing down there. Yeah. A volleyball pole or whatever. And we're out there one day, you know, probably seven, eight years old. We're yeah. Play, we're, we're playing volleyball, not volleyball, what do you call it? Tetherball. Tetherball. Okay. Tetherball, yeah. not volleyball. And, and so we're, we're uh, you know, hitting the little ball around, around the pole, and all of a sudden the fence, which is just next to us there, yeah, starts flopping back and forth. <laughs> Well, weird, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, what the hell's going on? And then we noticed everything else was shaking, and then my mom comes running out of the house, says, right. you kids, get in the house! <laughs> Which was like the stupidest thing, because where right. we were, nothing could fall on us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, she's from the East Coast, and she didn't right. really understand all that stuff. She's so, probably uh, thinking tornado protocol or something, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, whatever. I don't know, yeah. So, anyway, uh so it did its shake and it stopped and uh, people had to rebuild fences and fix slabs because concrete slabs crack and right um, yeah and that, that was a big one that was I don't know whenever that was 67 somewhere in San Diego oh okay yeah mm -hmm. so uh, yeah it happens <laughs> yeah great great happen man two or two days though yeah but you know uh, be careful of swinging doors absolutely cowboy tech um. <laughs> yeah no kidding and so I mean, I'd be afraid, like, you know, light fixtures on the, the well, ceiling. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to be careful. Of, you you got you to be careful of windows and any other pane glass. Cause, right. Because they will shatter. Um, and and so, yeah, I, I I mean, you know, but just, just uh, I, of course, you don't have to worry about it anyway. 
No, I don't. You, 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 you don't have quakes in Wisconsin. No, we don't. We could, but we don't. <laughs> there have been some, but they're totally minor, like nothing compared to yeah, California. Yeah, you know, I think I think in the, all the time I've been here, there's been like a 4.0 once. Yeah, like yeah, nothing, like, Cal- yeah, nothing right. compared to they California. Said, oh, there was a quake, really? <laughs> yeah, you barely feel it, like, you know. Yeah, you call that a quake? So. I swear, though, yesterday or the other day when I was laying out in the porch for a little bit, it felt like there was like a little minor one. Well, and I, mean, I don't know if that's possible, but it just felt like, and it was only for a couple seconds, but it kind of felt like, and maybe that was just me. I don't know, but well, it is possible. I mean, there is a big fault that runs right up the center of the United States. So right, right, and I just felt like it, it, it just was, it just was small. It was for a little second, but yeah, there was just this odd feeling. So I thought, well, maybe that was a little bit of an earthquake, but... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. So, um... Yeah. Who knows? But, yeah, who knows? Anyway, here's a, here's a thing, if, you, if you're interested in looking at it. Okay. The, uh, oh, cool. Richter, Richter, Richter scale magnitude. What the hell Whoa. is all that? Did I paste all that in? Whoa. Oh, it copied all the URLs that are open. On that <laughs> oh, wow. It copied a piece of every URL on that browser. Oops, that was an oops, Goober. <clears throat> I, have, I have this thing, because I can't use my regular copy uh, page title and URL thing on uh, on Chrome-based browsers, and Brave is a Chrome-based browser. Uh, so I got this yeah, other okay. one, and, and it's got this other feature, copy all URLs. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. <laughs> and I have whatever five six tabs open over there. Yeah, that was all grim there. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, I was just looking for the last the last link there, the uh, Richter scale magnet Richter magnitude scale. That's the only one you need to be interested in. The rest of that right. you know, yeah. is uh, other stuff that I have open. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Nothing bad on there. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything bad. Why would I have something yeah, bad? Yeah, I wouldn't think you would. But <laughs> never know. Yeah, so a... yeah. So now you know it's a big deal because another one struck the second day now. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what I have. Let me see if I have bookmarked anything good. Um. All right. Um, Go ahead. Well, you heard about the girl that went into a uh, store, and she took a, a thing of ice cream out of the freezer there. Yep. And she licked it and put it back in, and her, her boyfriend was there filming the whole thing. Yeah, that's gross. It's disgustingly gross. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and they first I heard that they were going to, that that she was eligible for twenty years of jail, which I thought was wow. great. They, that that's not even enough for for somebody that does that. Um, yeah. However, they found out who she is, and she's a minor. And the cop there, or the DA there, said they're not going to go after her for any adult charges. So she certainly won't get twenty years. Although I, I, I wow, not, twenty uh, years for that though. Yeah, you know, you're you're contaminating food supply. Yeah, that's pretty gross. You don't know, it's and besides, nasty. think of the damage to that company because nobody. Okay, everything for this from this Blue Bell ice cream company, you're gonna go into a store and you're gonna say, "Oh, that might be the one she licked." I'm not buying it, and they're they're stuck. Right. So I mean, and, and it's just disgusting. Who knows what kind of diseases this girl has? Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Well, apparently, now that she's done this and published it, yeah. It's a trend. Other people oh, God, are no. doing oh, it. Come on, people. Yes, now I'm grossed out. From Summit News, Summit.News, a new trend where people tamper with food, licking it or half consuming Eek. it, half consuming it before putting it back in the container is going viral. Oh, yes. my God. People are really. so stupid. So then they talk about her last week, a woman in the city of Lufkin, eastern Texas, was filmed in a branch of Walmart, opening an ice cream tub, licking it, and placing it back in the freezer. Police say they have identified the woman via surveillance camera footage, and she now faces a second-degree felony charges with tampering, 
of a consumer product with punishment of up to 20 years in jail. That was before, wow. that was before they found out she was a juvenile. So uh, and then they said, now they said, well, she's a juvenile worker, and I got to go after her for whatever. Anyway, another clip shows what appears to be a transgender individual, as if that matters, taking right. a swig of mouthwash before spitting it back into the bottle and Ew. walking away. Oh, yeah, I saw that one, too. <laughs> Ew. So a third person who goes by the name Sean Mendez on Twitter had his friend film him scooping out a chunk of ice cream with his hand before oh, put, before putting it back into the freezer. Oh. Uh, Mendez subsequently posted a video of an apparent visit he received from a police officer. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, these people are stupid. You're They're dumb. okay. Look, uh, if you're going to just be stupid and gross and do this, then make sure nobody can identify you. If you're going to post a video, right. you're, posting uh. a, you're posting the video on your own freaking account. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like wow. morons. Uh, and, he, and he says, "I started a trend of opening products products without buying them." He later bragged. Uh, it says, YouTuber James Charles later criticized Mendez, tweeting, Imagine licking ice cream or vandalizing a store because you need attention and likes on Twitter. Yeah, freaking moron. Anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, I think this is Paul Joseph Watson wrote this. He says, Where's that God reset button when you need it? <laughs> no kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. It's just fucked up, man. That is fucked up. It's, it's it's messed up, man. It's it's. Uh, what is wrong with people? Like that, that's really, that's the thing. Like, what what is wrong with people? What the hell? Uh, now this week I, I experienced a severe what is wrong with people episode. Yes, you did on I Twitter because uh, there was an article. And I think I have the article. Let me pick. Wait, 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 where did I pick? Did I copy that. Wait, where did I pick? Copy that. Paste that in. Um, I, I I I saw an article on Twitter or a link on Twitter um, from a thing, uh, and, and I and I posted a comment about it. In uh -huh. The article. Let me see if I could find it here. Um, let's see. Um, Maybe I didn't mark the article. It doesn't matter. Anyway, they said that uh, June was the hottest month ever recorded on Earth. And Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Yep, yep. <laughs> right, right. So I said, that's obviously not true. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, that's that's not even possible. Um, and anyway, so my reply, let me scroll down here a bit. I'll find you the reply that I sent out for that particular thing there because because it was absolutely nuts that, that people, that somebody would say that and people would actually believe it. And and so my, my thing was to prevent people from actually believing it. Um, okay, we're almost there. Okay. I've got so many freaking tweets in here. Um, <laughs> I, tweet, <laughs> I tweet out a lot of crap. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Almost there. Oh God! And the people, the replies. Just out oh of God! Mind. I saw the replies. I just like. I mean, they were they were mean, dude. Well, not only they're mean, they're just stupid. So many of them. Stupid too. Just hot too. Just fired up. Like, oh yeah. It oh was, dear, it, it, you. Okay. It's just like, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, I couldn't even read all of them because there were so many. I'm just like, oh my! I just saw a few of them, you know. <laughs> okay. Like, Holy okay. crap! Okay. Uh, we're bringing it. I got it here. Um, okay, the, the original article uh, was from an independent.co.uk, and it says June was the hottest month ever recorded on Earth. Yeah. And I replied, and like, as I normally reply on these things, I reply on them all the time about right. all kinds of things. And most, I mean, it's like nobody even notices my replies. <laughs> Somehow okay. this, one, this one did. I said, and my reply was, no worries. Taxing everyone and controlling their lives will fix everything. It's magic for those that believe in this propaganda. So um, from that, I got like 12,000 views or some kind. <laughs> Crazy. No, it was, it was almost 100,000 views. They were ready to pounce, dude. Oh, oh they, they, they absolutely were. It was, it was, it was nuts. 
Insanity. Yeah, I saw some of the comments. I'm like, holy uh, crap. Uh, and I'm like, you opened a can of worms. I, I certainly did, man. I hit a fucking raw nerve. Yeah, um, you did. Wow. <laughs> It was insane. Those people are insane. Uh, they uh, they are insane, and um. And, Some and of them agreed, but the ones that that were like disagreeing until they fight. Oh my god, they were fucking mean. Oh yeah, a lot of people agreed. Absolutely, a lot of people not right. only agreed, but um, uh, but but replied with with positive uh you know, uh, right feedback and responses and argued out the the uh the, the thing to the to the, to those lunatics. Uh, <laughs> that, were, that were out to get me uh, because I, I said what I said, um, and, and then later on I, I, I did reply another one here uh, back to this uh, like, like the next day um, after talking to the, or whatever saying yeah. whatever I say to these people uh, here here uh, let me see if I can find this one. Um, <laughs> Here it is. It says, I, I have learned something, which I've kind of already knew, over the <laughs> last 24 hours. Climate change is a religion, and the climate alarmists are zealots. If you question, <laughs> their, bet they love that. If you question their doctrine in any way, you are labeled a heretic. Right. Nothing. I didn't see that Nothing. Said that, yeah. Nothing. Not a response to right. that at Nothing. all. Right, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. It's like they went on to the next thing. Well, no, I, I kept on getting responses from the original one. Oh, okay, okay. And, um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, and, and nobody even replied to that. Um, right. Uh, the one guy replied back, uh, I don't know, whatever. It, it was just, like, so stupid um, that, that this is this is how it all came down. Um, <laughs> well, one guy did reply back, was his name, Sergi Monkey. He says, idiot, yeah. idiot is the word you're looking for, not heretic. <laughs> like, oh really? Yeah, oh wow! Call, what a dick! They're uh, calling call me an idiot. So uh, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of people. That's all. That was all they had was ad hoc replies. Ad hoc right, responses. Right, just stupid. Like, oh, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. Right, 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 right. It's like really, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah but wow. uh, you know, people came back with all kinds of different. You know, from their side, really nothing. From the the the, the believers, really nothing. But from the the. Uh, people that realize it's all bullshit and I told people hey go look up climate gate you don't believe me <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, right it's yeah like, you know it, it's it's their it's it's you know their own words that, that yeah we lied we made this data up we manufactured it uh and, and so um <laughs> I don't know wow. I, I, don't, I don't even know what you could say about it all it, it's just uh and you, I don't think you ever really know uh, when when something that you might say on the Twitter is is going to spark some kind of bizarre fury from right. the, from those people. <laughs> um. <laughs> that was wild, though. I, I'm like, oh my god, these people are nuts. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> wow. Oh man! So that was fun. That was, that made for a kind of a fun week. Um, right, I bet. Yeah. I, I mean, I I I laughed a lot at, at the I'm sure. comments. People just at insane. least it was humorous for you. Oh yeah. I mean, if if I was one of the people that took something personal, I probably wouldn't post comments like that in the first place. Right. <laughs> you know, um, and just you know, being a wise ass, making my my statements here. Right. And, yeah. And, uh, uh, well, I, I've had responses like that before in chemtrail comments or vaccine comments, but not to that degree, but to a you know a, a, a large degree. When you when you talk bad about vaccines, people just get, go nuts. Oh, or, they do, uh, man. Or, or oh, they you, get they get hot, dude. Or, or you talk about chem, item. You know, you talk about chemtrails, and they oh, there's no such thing. Those are contrails. What are you trying to say? And it's yeah, just they like, freak what, what is, out. What, what's it to you? I'm pointing out that this stuff is up there. You look up, you see it. it, and if you don't, if you think it's just contrails, fine, go away. But no, they've got to prove you wrong in some way. But they can't because the government patented those things, um, and right. they they admit to doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Crazy world, dude. Let's play some more music here. <laughs> Do that. 
and we'll come back and talk about more crazy stuff. We shall. Yes, we shall. indeedy. We never run out of crazy stuff. <laughs> I tell you, man, it's a strange world that we live in. It is, big time. All right, here we go. All righty. Oh, play. I said play. Oh, man, Goober, that, that's horrible. You should have requested the original version of that song. That was terrible. Uh, the, the original version of that song is actually pretty decent. Uh, missing persons doing walking in L.A. But that version there, wow, man. <laughs> I mean, let me just pull it up real quick here. Because, uh, <laughs> just God. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I just don't, yeah, yeah, no, no, all right, okay, let, let, let's try, let's try this here. That's right, nobody walks in L.A., what the hell, man, we think you are walking in L.A., <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Goober, that uh, version you requested there was horrible. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's the missing persons there. Uh, a a semi-Goober request walking in L.A. Before that, we had Haley Reinhardt and her dad, Harry Reinhardt, singing Led Zeppelin, What Is and What Should Never Be, at the Rock and Run, the runway in Wheeling, Illinois. That video was just posted yesterday. Uh, I think the concert was a little while ago, but a couple days ago anyway. Uh, so, Haley, yeah, awesome. Uh, and before that, we kicked it off there with Think by Billy Blaze, as requested by Mr. Cowboy Jack. Yeah. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> Billy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so... Uh, so you're talking about the little plane crash there that killed the billionaire. Yeah. Now, there was, what, seven or eight people on that plane? Seven. And and uh, we don't know anybody's name except the, the, the one rich dude. No, we know him and his daughter and two of her friends. So there was the the Chris Klein, who's the billionaire, then there was his daughter, who was 22, and then two of or three of her friends. Okay. Well, we'll hear. And where, then there was three men, including the dad. So there was two other men besides these girls on there. Seven people total. Eight, including the pilot, I believe. Right here. Well, what I want to know, what I, what I want, what I want to know is, um, okay, so it took out at least one, two family members there. Uh, yes. Besides him, um, so he's probably got some open slots on his will. So. uh <laughs> I'm putting my name in a hat. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I don't think that's gonna work. Man, I, I want in on some of that, some of that billions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did, um, they, did they say so there what, was three or four girls? Like did they, did, did they say what caused the uh, what caused it? They to, haven't said that yet. They okay. just they haven't said that yet. All right. But they're making a big deal out of it because they're putting pictures of the bodies being taken out. Well, yeah, on the I mean, you know, whatever a rich court. bastard, whatever a rich bastard dies, they make a big deal out of it. Right, and he's Trump's buddy, and Trump made, tweeted out condolences and that type of thing. All right, so he paid tribute to the billionaire donor, uh, tweeted about Klein's wonderful daughter and her friends. And he said, the great people of West Virginia will never forget them. They were I think it's oh, a, here it, is. it was a planned thing. Yeah, they were celebrating a birthday on a Bahamas private island. Private island? Uh, he owns uh, an island there. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, he would have been 61 uh, coming Friday. Let's see. Uh, he suffered a medical emergency, so they take a chopper to Florida. Klein and six others were killed in a helicopter crash near Bahamas. It remains unclear what caused the crash, the craft to fall, but it plummeted into the water off Grand Cay. Uh, 
Yeah, that. it's okay, so, up and went down. So, so it was, it was a, it was they a, took that from Grand Cay. That's in the Bahamas. Yeah, so it was a medical emergency, and the reason they had to do that and fly that. Um, okay, Klein is an energy expert, also no, known for dating Tiger Woods' ex, Ellen Nordegren. Okay, but they don't. Yeah, that they, was Tiger Woods' ex girlfriend. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, you know he had a medical emergency. That's why they were out there at two a.m. Um, something happened. Whether who knows what. Uh, that right. That, it sounds kind of fishy. A little fishy, but isn't that, isn't that in the uh, Bermuda? I mean, accidents can happen. I mean, isn't that in the Bermuda Triangle? Um, uh, it's close to there. Yeah. So, okay. It said he had also donated to Jeb Bush before that. Uh, nah, nah, nah. All right. So he owns a mansion in Seminole he, Landing near Juno Beach. He Beat. donated to Jeb Bush's com committee prior to coughing up funds for the fellow billionaire in 2016, which is Trump. Right. So, all right. Well, you had a hot daughter there. Um, I'm not going to end up with a couple billion dollars. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Hey, hey there, Hansel. People stuff about me even without me with me making shit. For I have no job right now. I mean, I don't make any money. Like he looks like a cool guy. I, I don't know. Well, he, whatever. Looks, he looks like a cool guy from the pictures of him. He doesn't look like he's anything. No, he's he's some energy billionaire. So yeah, I don't coal. know where he got all his billions. Coal. But. It's coal. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Imagine that. Yeah. And he donated to Trump's campaign. Right. Imagine that. Imagine. So tell me the rich motherfuckers don't run this fucking world. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> they do. Rich billionaire motherfuckers are running the fucking goddamn world. It ain't the government like you think it is. It ain't fucking Trump like you think yeah. it is. It's not the president. It's the people that have the money, that donate, that get the people they want selected for the presidency. It's it's a selection, not an election. And it... it you guys need to do more research if you don't if you think it's something else. I don't know what to tell these people that think, oh no, it's all up and up. Our votes matter, and oh yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> Your votes votes don't fucking matter. Your fucking thoughts don't fucking matter to them. Your existence doesn't doesn't even fucking matter to them. If the you're... only way it matters to them is if you can get sick and they can make fucking money off of your fucking ass. Your yeah. sick ass. If your votes That's matter, the only way they give a shit about you. And to think that, you know, these politicians give a fuck about you, you need your head examined. Because they don't give a fuck about you. Right. They give a fuck about themselves and their friends that donated the money to their campaign. Right. That's who they give a fuck about. Yeah. They can sit there and say, oh, yeah, I care about the American people. The American people deserve this. The American people deserve that. And I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, they say all these things that they're going to make happen, but they never say exactly how they're going to make it happen. They don't say exactly how. They don't, They just make all these fucking promises. It's basically smoke out of their fucking ass. Right. Oh, elect me, because I care about you more than the other person cares about you. You know what? Neither, neither, none of the candidates give a fuck about you. Right. They don't. Anyway, they care about um, how much money they can get for their campaign. Sorry. Do you, do you remember this girl, a uh, 16-year-old girl, Greta Thunberg, that mm -hmm. uh, they started? She she got upset about global warming, and and then yeah. they and they made a star out of her, being the, the global warming. Is anti she a kid or something? Yeah, she's a kid. She's 16. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 16. Oh, yeah, you said that. Okay, sorry. Right. So uh, they made they made this big thing out of her, this big media sensation because. This little girl doesn't want to die in your global warming stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this article comes out a couple days ago on summit.news. Germans display, fuck you, Greta, bumper stickers <laughs> to protest being lectured about global warming. Uh, turns out, <laughs> Turns out adults don't like being told by a child how to live their lives. Uh, so, German drivers have begun displaying fuck you Greta bumper stickers to protest against being lectured about global warming by a 16 year old child 
Greta Sundberg is a Swedish teen climate activist who has been heavily promoted by the establishment and was placed on the front cover of Time magazine back in May. Ingmar Renshog, founder of the nonprofit We Don't Have Time Foundation, claimed to have discovered Sundberg and used her to push climate change messaging. They pipped her out, basically. They, 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 they were using and abusing this girl, although she didn't seem to mind. Uh, this has prompted accusations that the teen is being exploited given her Asperger's, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and selective mutism. So she was, you know, disabled in several ways there. Now some German motorists have had enough of being lectured about their lifestyles by this child. Over the past few weeks, numerous images of cars adorned with bumper stickers that read, Fuck you, Greta, have been posted on social media. <laughs> Which I think is great. Oh, that's, it's, it's bad, though, because it's a 16-year-old girl. Well, I Leave know, I know, and, and, and she... And she... I'm sorry, I would, be, I would be fucking pissed. Well... I would be fucking the, pissed. Her parents, <laughs> her parents let her get abused this way. Get exploited this way, right? And, I guess so. And, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, and so you could buy one of these stickers, a "fuck you, Greta" sticker from Amazon for uh, three point nine nine euros, uh, the <laughs> <laughs> or you could just make your own. Oh uh, you could make your own. It's, just, it's heartening <laughs> to see some that many people can see right through the flagrant attempt to use a child as a human right. shield for emotionally manipulative propaganda. While the message is squarely aimed at Greta, more questions need to be asked about who is pulling the frickin' strings. So, um, I, yeah, I, I mean, the first time I saw the story about her, I was like, oh, give me a break. You're, you're really, yeah. you're, you're really, this is, this is what the fuck you're gonna do. Um, uh, but, yeah. So, <laughs> it, it, come on, people. Get, get your head out of your ass. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Global, oh my God! Just like those attack, how you got attacked the other day on Twitter. Oh, I know it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's fucking crazy. People think, oh, I know better, and I, I know, I know better, and yeah. Anybody that challenges my belief is an idiot. Okay, give me a, give me like, your, okay, you're stupid. Give me, give me your quick opinion. Okay. <laughs> quick. Quick opinion. Um, what do you think of opioids? Opioids? Opioids. What type? Whatever. All the various... Man-made? Yeah, man-made. All the various ones that are... They suck. Is ...issued by doctors. They fucking suck and they're deadly. And, they, they don't and, do what they're supposed... They make you an addict. And are you on Facebook? Yes. And would you ever post something... A warning about the dangers of opioids on Facebook? I might. I, I'm not... I, I, I have never have, but I might. Well, I'll tell you right now. You, what? You won't. Why? <laughs> Facebook is blocking users that warn against the dangers of opioids. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> yes. The phenomenon known as the opioid crisis may not be well known to the folk outside of the U.S. That is, those outside the reach of the nation's uh, media's everyday parlance. Uh, for the benefit, for their benefit, it means that doctors in the United States have been over-prescribing opioid drugs meant to dull the senses to the, endure the pain of surgery or serious chronic disease. It means they have been doing this for such a long time and with so little or no real justification as to create an entire class of addicts abusing this type of medication. As it turns out, Facebook has something called Stop Opioid Silence as one of its campaigns at least uh, launched just recently. Wow. Given the prominence given to this particular form of drug abuse in the United States, media over the past years, Facebook is labeling silence might appear as a social media's giant's biggest faux pas here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Apparently not so. A recent uh, Vice report focuses on how Facebook is handling other anti-opioid campaigns on its platform. Summed up, not well. 
It's the same old story in a different setting. Facebook cannot tell apart those using its platform to illicitly sell drugs from those attempting to reduce harm from using those drugs. <laughs> and, and when we say Facebook, most likely it's the same highly imperfect algorithm exercise put in place to automate censorship of content posted by the, the Giants 2.4 billion active users every day. Uh, so sometimes the algorithm bans legitimate drug awareness content. Other times it will ban legitimate free speech. But, uh, right. but yeah, if you try to go on there and post stuff against opioids, they will, they will, they will dump your content. They will, wow. They will throw that shit right, the hell, right the hell out. They um, just don't want you tell, spewing anything that's true or helpful. Well, they probably get a lot of money from various uh, from big pharma companies. Oh, you know. I'm sure. Uh, they're probably big advertisers on there. I, I don't know. I don't have a, a, the thing, so. Um. <laughs> right. You used to, but you don't. Yeah, I mean, good. I still have it. I still use it. I mean, I take my chances. I just don't. I, I, I make sure I only post certain things. I don't really post a lot of political things on there. I might like some people's political posts, but I seriously don't, um... Don't, uh, post anything political. Yeah. I, I did it first. Well, I, I, don't know that there, saying, I don't know that saying that opioids are bad for you and they're addictive and they'll probably wind up killing you is really political. That's not political, is it? No. No, it isn't. I mean, what, yeah, well, it, people perceive it as. Right. Well, and it's just like with, with, with the global warming thing. People think that's political. It's yeah, not, it's not it's freaking not, political. It, but it's it's they, a lie. But, politi but politics is in it. They, they talk about it. Up, politicians talk about it all the time. I, I know they do, but it's not it's it's not a political issue. It's it's a it's a freedom killing issue, is what it is. Right. Um. So I, I mean, I guess if you're against freedom, it's political. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, you, are you, you're familiar with kratom, right? Yes. Because people use kratom to get off the opioids. Right. But uh, now they're going to make that illegal. Well, or and, and here's the deal. Um, it says they couldn't ban Kratom. Right. So now the feds are trying to stop the source. So it says right. Kratom has been used by indigenous people in the southeast of Asia for generations. Yep. Uh, despite the fact that it's been used by these people for generations, Kratom was a relatively unknown to the critical mass of Americans until 2016, I didn't know about it before then, when suddenly the uh, Drug Enforcement Agency and the FDA took an aggressive interest in making the Southeast Asian plant a scheduled drug. Uh, led by the commissioner, the FDA took up the mantle to attempt to restrict Kratom via aggressive regulations. While the federal government continues to misrepresent the science behind Kratom research, the DEA is not likely to recommend criminal scheduling on Kratom until newly commissioned studies, which will be modified to meet their agenda, uh, are completed. And that will probably be a while down the road yet. So the federal push to make Kratom a Schedule One drug, which would make it the same as heroin and cocaine, was predicted on a series of reports dating back to 2009 and later that called into question whether Kratom was actually a public health threat. Uh, the FDA claimed that uh, Kratom was associated with 44 deaths. However, independent peer-reviewed analysis, later corroborated by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, showed that virtually all of those cases involved either adulterated Kratom, meaning it was mixed with something else, or poly drug use, meaning uh, with some descendants having, oh, dis, I can't say this word, some other thing in their system, um, <laughs> some other drug in their system, some other pharmaceutical drug in their system. Over a, mm -hmm. a phone call, legislative director of the American Kratom Association, uh, Mac Haddow, said that despite the fact that the government's claims were roundly debunked, the FDA continues to deliberately mislead the public and the DEA by referencing those deaths. So they're still after it. They still want to make sure that you can't use anything that 
is a natural cure for things. Right. They don't like natural health food stores. They don't like homeopathic remedies. They don't like anything natural at all. They they think they can uh, recreate Mother Nature, and they're better than Mother Nature, but they're not. They never are. They never will be. Right. They they try to manipulate the weather. You know, they do manipulate the weather. They can do all this shit to try to recreate Mother Nature. It's like, you guys are fucking whack, dude. You yeah. can't. I don't care who the fuck you are or what fucking goddamn technology you fucking have. Right. But still, Mother Nature's going to kick your fucking ass. That it will. So, to think that you can recreate Mother Nature and be better than, you're just, you're fucked up. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. All right, we're going to play another music set real quick right here. Alrighty. And we'll be back after these enjoyable music tracks. Nice. <laughs> Metallica there for you, doing Whiskey in the Jar at Slane Castle just on June 8th, about a, not quite a month ago. Uh, before that, we had Strawberry Alarm Clock doing Incense and Peppermints from 1967, as posted by Monroe's Retro. And we kicked it off with a, a video that just decided it, it didn't want to play for me. I don't know why, but it, it wouldn't play, and uh, so whatever, man. Uh, it was an, it was a cool mashup. You might want to listen to it. I'll, I'll give you the link. Uh, the cool mashup there. Chicago and Black Sabbath doing plenty high or six to four. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. uh, I like some of these mashups. Some, some of them are really funny and cool and, and well done uh, as well. So uh, plenty high or six to four. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> We'll try. We'll try. We'll try another uh, mashup on the next set. <laughs> Hopefully, this next one will play. And uh, it's it's, it's uh, another one by the uh, the same guy, Bill McClintock. He, he does some funny stuff. Um, eh, funny, I say, but it's good. It's good music still. All the same, uh, how he how he weaves this stuff together, you know. Um. <laughs> so uh, you there, Moose? Are we here? Are we here? Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. I am here. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Good. Good, good. That's good. So apparently the earthquake was a four shock. The one yesterday was a four shock. This one they're calling today the main shock. Um, there's apparently been 1,400 uh, earthquakes through the week. So uh, I'm glad I'm not living in California, actually. Well, I'm glad I'm not living there, but it's not because of the quakes. Right. Well, that's <laughs> part of it. That's not the only reason I'm glad I do not live there. But Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Some shaking going on up there in Cali, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so we got four. Four. All right. So, 11. Okay, good. Yes, indeed, there is. So, what would you do, Graham? Would you just be like, ah, if you still live there? Let's just say hypothetically that you still live there. Well, if the quakes were where they were, I, you know, I, I wouldn't be real concerned about it. You'd be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, no. I, I mean, you know. What can you do anyway, right? All right. I mean, you could leave, I guess. Uh, you I could guess. leave, but most people, it seems like a lot of people are not leaving. They choose to stay living there. It must be the weather. It must be the sunny weather. I don't know what the fires, the earthquakes, the windstorm, you know. I don't know what we, the, the, the high cost of living, the popu the overpopulation. I don't, I don't see the appeal, but I guess the weather. Yeah, the weather. Um. But and you gotta there, pay a lot of money to you know, fucking have good weather. I mean, there, there there is some very beautiful stuff out there. Oh yeah, I don't doubt that at all. And, I know there know. is, but it, it's there's beautiful stuff in every state. Well, but, absolutely, absolutely. But it, it, I just don't think I would like that quake and crap. No, I I would. You know, it's 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 all right though. I mean, it's 
eh, you know, whatever. You deal with it. It's not that big a thing unless, like I said, you're in a place that's going to fall down on your head. So, um, <laughs> you're pretty much okay with that. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, anyway, here's this article that I came across. Okay. And I thought, yeah, but it is, what's really the point? Do you need to? But in a way, I guess you do. But I don't think these guys are thinking of it right. Uh, this is posted on theoutline.com. And the article is titled, Can We Abolish Time? <laughs> okay. It says, an island in Norway wants to cut ties with the clock, so residents are free to mow... So so residents are free to mow their lawns at 4 a.m. But wait, are are they not being a little self-contradictory there? Yeah. I mean, yep. if they're cutting ties with the with the clock, they're abolishing time. How is there a 4 a.m.? <laughs> All right, <laughs> there we go here. Uh, this is posted on July 2nd. Tom Wyman. A couple of weeks ago, the lighter side of the news story broke that was compelling in a way that transcended virality, breaking loose into the realm of metaphysics. There's a Norwegian island called Samaroy, and it wants to erase the concept of time. The northern uh, Norway island, which has around 350 residents, is in constant darkness from November to January, but experiences perpetual sunlight from May to July, as its name uh, translates, Summer Island. Obviously derived from the only possible time of the year you'd want to go. A local man, whose name I can't pronounce, who for whatever complex biographical or physiological reason has found himself uh, at the head of the Time Free Zone campaign, handing his petition calling for the abolition of time to his local member of parliament, conservative Kent Gunmanson. Now, there's 350 people there. Well, how is there a member of parliament? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> the the, the Samaray Time Free Zone campaign is like some sort of philosophical idealist dream. Finally, we will be able to prove that one of the basic categories structuring what we call reality is, in fact, completely made up. Do you have to really prove it? I mean, isn't it obvious? But what is it that the residents of Samurai want to abolish exactly? All over the world, people are characterized by stress and depression. Hedrington has stated, in many cases, this can be linked to the feeling of being trapped. And here, the clock plays a role. We, we will be a time-free zone where everyone can live their lives to the fullest. Our goal is to provide a full flexibility, Hevedigin said. If you want to cut the lawn at 4 a.m., then do it. Well, there's not going to be a 4 a.m. And Samurai... Right. Re it'll, be, it'll be irrelevant. Time yeah, will be there's, there's no time, right? There's no time. If right. you're abolishing time, then abolish time. Don't tell me there's a, a 4 a.m. Right, in, exactly. <laughs> in, in Samurai, residents claim... Playing soccer or drinking coffee on the beach at 2 a.m. is simply a normal thing that one does, and they want to stop feeling like they have to apologize for it. And so, uh, so far from wanting to abolish time wholesale, there's at least one sense in which residents wish to keep it exactly the same. The critique of pure reason, Kant, uh, in, in the, that book by Kant, uh, he whose understanding of time has been decisively influential uh, for most philosophy defines time as inner sense, thus contrasting it with space or the outer sense, the subjective condition of our human intuition, which is required to be able to represent motion and alteration. Only in time can two contradictory. Where, where, where did I lose my spot there? Oh, two contradictorily opposed predicates meet in one and the same object, uh, namely one after the other, says Kant. Uh, incidentally, he was trans a transcendental idealist, which meant that he didn't think things like time were real in the sense that they exist in the world outside of us. 
just necessary for us to be able to represent the reality to ourselves. So while time might not be real as such, we still can't do anything to change it. <laughs> anyway, he goes on talking about this stuff, but you can, and you can read it if you want. I, I find it quite interesting and humorous all at the same time. So um, <laughs> there it is for you. <laughs> Abolishing time. I, I like the idea, buddy. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. You got anything else, Moose? Uh, no, not really. I just I'm kind of zoning out, like right all now. Right, like, all I was right. at I'll, the I'll just close the, I'll just... for a while. It was trippy. I mean, it wasn't trippy. I, was, I wasn't tripping or anything, but I wasn't even consuming alcohol. Yeah. But um, it's just a different world. It's really it's 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 a dichotomy. It's like a clash between. The, the establishment and the non-establishment. You know okay. what I mean? I love that. I love that. I, mean, I don't love that there's a struggle, but I love when they the two have to meet, you know, and then people have to work shit out and be like, okay, well, the cops are here. The cops don't like hippies, obviously, because they're, they got these fucking weapons that they're carrying around that have fucking disbursement things on them, whatever they use, pepper spray or rubber bullets or whatever, you know. They're, I mean, what are they waiting for to happen? Uh, who knows? You know what I mean? It's just like, and, and, but and today, you know, I, I only got there today. I hadn't been there previously. Yeah. So today I only saw the cops driving up and down the main road. Not up and down, like one time. I don't, you know, I went, and once I went into the fucking, where people were camping and everything, I didn't see one cop in there. Right. So okay, well, the best part about my day probably was the bagpipe player in the middle of the fucking me main meadow. Yeah. And that big pipe sound, it was just one big pipe. Uh -huh. That thing traveled far. That sound, oh, yeah, I could do. hear that thing from a mile away, I bet. Uh, absolutely, they do. And they're, it's such a cool sound. I just love that instrument. I love the sound of that instrument. All right, it well, sounds just, uh... so cool. It, it, I know it sounds geeky or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, no, I like there them is, too. I like them. I like them. There's something to be said for a nice a song being played with big pipes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so, well, let me just uh, drop this link here. I don't have time to give the story. Okay. But uh, it's a good story. It's Americans are not falling for the fake news about dietary supplements. Well, that's good you, because, you, you know, all these diet pills back in the 80s. No, no, not diet pills. Dietary supplements. Oh, okay. It says use of vitamin supplements continuing to grow. Right. Well, I believe that because no. they don't. Yeah. Okay. So I see it's the reverse of what I was thinking. Yeah, it's not about diet. I was thinking pills. diet pills like to help you yeah. lose weight, but yeah. no, these are like supplements to help you yeah, stay you healthy. Yeah, vitamins. Like turmeric or yeah. vitamins. Absolutely, or, just like that. Right. So. Okay. Herbs. Any kind of herbs you would yeah. use to yeah. help with pain or anything that you anything. are ailing. Any vitamins or whatever. So anyway, uh, this is good news. I'll put the link into the post show blog. And we got to do our last set real quick here, so here we go. Okay, yeah, but I just want to say one thing. One thing that I did think about today, and it's been a long time since I've been up in the North Woods, and my friend, a friend of mine is, like, into, like, the botany and stuff and what certain plants can do and that type of thing, you know. And all I thought was today that nature has given us everything to combat, anything that we need. Right. Disease-wise or illness, ailment-wise. Absolutely, absolutely. And it, it's, we've been so far, it, su it sucks because we've been so far removed from that knowledge that only a few people have that knowledge now, and most people are just like, oh, let's go to Walgreens and get, you know, get the pill or get this, you know. Right, right. It's like, no, you don't need to do that. No, you don't. You, there's Not natural all. things for every ailment and and. <laughs> This ease you feel, you know. Yeah, yeah. It does, it's not. It's not just weed. I'm oh just no, no, not at here. all, not at all. It's every just... every do do research in the Native American healing practices. Sure. I mean, you know, do research into the practices that people used before Christianity. Okay? Yeah. Back in the old day, like way, way old day. Sure. You know, 1400s, 1300s. I don't all know right. how far back you got to go. But go back there. And Way learn. back. You know. Cavemen, okay. troglodytes. Burn the butt. All right. Oh, we should do our last set here. <laughs> All right. Let's do that.
Uh, any of the guards are still speaking to me. Could I have a glass of water? <laughs> oh, yeah, very nice there. Mason Rack Band uh, doing Black Betty. Uh, the track before that, in case you didn't figure out what exactly was going on there, was a mashup called Rock the Space Freak. It was Rick James with Super Freak, The Clash, Rock the Casbah, and Deep Purple Space Trucking all mixed in together. <laughs> Very nice mashup uh, by Bill McClintock there. And we kicked it off with a, a Moose Girl request there. Johnny Cash sent Quentin live from prison. <laughs> so you there, Moose? Anyway, no, no, no. All right. Well, I don't know where Moose is, but I'm yes, going to... Oh, I am here. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up uh, for yeah. us here on... The Frigger's Ball slash Balls to the Wall. Yep. We'll be back. Well, not. Yeah, we will be back. You'll be back next Friday? Where, are you going anywhere? I believe I will. Let's see. What's the date? Yeah, I should be here. It's the uh, 12th next Friday. Yeah, I should be here. All right. So we'll be back next Friday with another Frigger's Ball. Tomorrow, you got the dark table at noon Eastern. Uh, Sunday, I'll be playing the blues at noon Eastern and the trivia yep. in the chat room. Followed by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up the big old can of whoop ass. Uh, check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com for all the rest of the great shows here on Real Liberty Media and RLM Radio. Have yourselves a great weekend. Right. Yeah. Yeah, thanks everybody. Yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs>